Welcome back to the Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution is episode 26. I'm Ryan Akuvo. I'm Benson or Topical. Last time we rocket jumped and we uh, talked to Tom right here. Now we're hanging out actually. in the dive. Actually, we uh, talked I mean, to this bartender and now we get to hive. go talk to Tom. Still can't get in there. If you owned a bar, Tom, what would you call it? His office is mm. in the basement. The low point? <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> That'd be really good if it was in a basement. Like yeah, a basement yeah, that's bar. a plan. Call words. it the low point. Yeah. I think I would literally just call my bar the dive. The dive. It's yeah. kind of like the hive. Uh huh. So we're in the back room. Uh, he said he was going to meet us in the basement. But before <laughs> we go in there, we have some. Uh... Billy, did you leave the fog machine on again? They have some bad insulation here. I mean, Wang, did you leave the fog machine on? Oh, level that's five. level five. Can't get in there. See, you should use that praxis point on that. Yeah. Nice. Those custom jobs. Uh huh. This sure in TYM. What, what is TYM? Tyon Medical. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess we could go in there. At first, I was I was thinking it was like DIY. Do it yourself. Thank you. Huh. Those aren't TYM. You know what? I have a feeling that vent will go in here because I know interior design of buildings. This is how vents are like in buildings. Yes, in real life. They go straight yeah. between rooms. No, nothing in between. What's the purpose of that vent? I don't know. We found the pocket secretary and a dead body in the basement. Maybe he's sleeping. Huh. Don't know what that's supposed to mean yet. There is a rain of fire upgrade. So Did you say a, rain of fire? Yes, rain of fire. Assault. So we can uh, shoot each gun faster. Clearly assault rifle. Yeah. Better choice. Don't need rate of fire on a fucking silenced handgun. <laughs> you know, silenced assault rifle. <laughs> yeah. Exit to sewer areas. I guess we could have broken into the sewers. China doesn't have sewers. That's racist. They just let it all run off. Oh, oh God. So this is the front area. Like oh, that. yeah, you're in the DJ booth. No, this isn't the DJ booth. Though, I kind of want to get to the DJ booth now. Well, there you go. Sahu Darrow? Yes, Darrow Industries. Op optical enchantment. Enchantment. Not going to lie, I'm getting pretty sick of this Hugh Darrow guy. Yeah, well. You got two computers. Well, let's turn off the security. Yeah. Let's do this After part. we steal from the safe. Yeah. I wonder how much money the hive makes in a <laughs> night. You think they charge cover? Uh, that would be 20 yuan. That's all they make. Oh shit, this one's fast. Time for a nuke. Oh, you're fucked. Access granted. Yeah, I could have let it go, it would be close. Apparently, they make around $900 in a night. That's pretty good. Um, let's look at this is one. Is that good? I, I don't That's know. That's actually awful. <laughs> For a fucking gigantic club? Probably cost that. Maybe that's just the cover charges yeah. and not the actual drinks and stuff. It's probably what the electricity costs. That's petty cash. Whoop. That's what happens. You see? You see? Took you Meet and great boss. Trying to send a stash of gear, all top-notch condition. Arrange a meeting. So someone's getting new gear or something. The hive. Yeah. H I. P R C. Well, people of Republic China, this is Hengshai or something. They actually set up top-level domains that make sense. Yeah, that's <laughs> too much. That's too much. I guess though. Dash T is a ton, so maybe this is the boss on an email out. Not opponent for Khan. Some illegal boxing. Con and Tong, the new yeah. sitcom. <laughs> hmm. Use the augury. But the this character. bitch is something else. Huh? Someone's using Casey mod on someone else. That's just camera. They're not even gonna is hack that. Is it me? Yeah. Hey, leaving already, tough guy. Cause you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby, the punch? bartender. The real bartender, that is. 
<laughs> Y'all look alike. <laughs> uh, racist, or should we just check it out? I don't care. Let's check it out. I don't feel like being racist. Yeah. Check out. You do that. He's just trying to help. This is Bobby. What can I get you? Looks like Tom's running a nice operation here. Yeah. You for hire? <laughs> because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. I'm gullible. What are you offering? Yeah, I got right. the problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong operation here some money. <laughs> Getting it out of her is proving to be Actually, difficult. Yeah. It's a dirty job, we but them. it pays well. I can make you an interested? SD joke here. Ah, sure. Let's get some money Tell from women. More. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. Until I get all my money. Jaya. She's a broker. <laughs> my beautiful face. Highly competitive field in Heng Sha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip oh, so she could Gino's understand her about. client's needs. Hmm. Now, it's time to pay us what's due, but she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes, but it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep Can't her Can't trace those. Alive. Yeah, I know. Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come on a ship. It's bothering me. Bauhauer set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four story building in the Yuzao district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy arms of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. Okay. So that's a different uh, quest, a side quest. We should probably go talk to Tom. I just wanted to open this door. I didn't even know there was even a conversation there yet. In order to complete this mission, you will also need the skills of hacking, uh, Vietnamese cooking, <laughs> and acrobatics. <laughs> huh. So <laughs> this guy just stand there all day staring. Is he, is he a guard? He's a guard, right? But he cut corners to do it for sure. He's like security. <laughs> I heard some nasty rumors about the quality control. You look like a tough guy. Just remember. Plenty of tough guys here. He doesn't like turn his neck to the left. Plenty of tough guys here. Yeah, like it's upstairs or something. <laughs> Plenty of tough guys on my left, but not on my right. Huh. Oh, look! It's Ton! No, it's not. Like a, That's the bartender. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got some cognac. Cognac. Karaoke. Karaoke live hive. Oh, he's got a he's got a son and a nice wife. So um, maybe it's just me, but I kind of would like to find out what happens if you kill him. <laughs> oh, you mean like right now? Yeah. I think we get a fission mailed. I want to see what it. I want to see what happens though. And we haven't seen a fission mailed. Yeah. Let's do it. Quick save. Quick save. Headshot. Look at that safe. Yeah, that's a that's a heavy duty safe. Yeah. Make sure to close the door. <laughs> so you want to try uh, headshotting him? Yeah. Let's see what happens if we kill him. Because we it? haven't we haven't killed a plot uh, a, a someone with plot armor yet. Huh. Wow. Huh. It literally does nothing. It allows you to dump rounds into their head, but doesn't hurt them. Did you know that? No. I didn't either, because I, I, it... I never shot any of these people. Hmm. Well, now that I waste that crossbow bolt that it's worth more than you are. You see this? <laughs> Panda screw it up in the fourth. I'm just flushing my money down the Pandas. <laughs> your Tom. team's name is the Pandas. Hey, work that out now. Yeah, I just figured that out. You only got with the unique model in the you place. Tell me who you work for. Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You're still in business. Why would we got we subsidies? Be? Check the news. <laughs> 
Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods. Capsule Still 3 to 1. Still in business because we don't mis misreport our stock something. value like <laughs> Facebook. Sure him in the same shape <laughs> give me a break All they change is from criticizing the company to tell exactly But those implants yeah, might look even more special on somebody else. Huh. Okay, so uh, Van Bruggen. Access point available. Yep, aka Mr. Windmill is in the Alice Garden pods. Level 5 hack. Are you doing hacking again? We gotta get the level 5 hack. We got level four. Oh. Four. We're working our way up. Okay. Malik, so, you were right. Uh, I guess, uh, Tony's uh, helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Uh, wall punch at the much. nearest the opportunity. Hacker who knows his way around we will. Once I see a valuable wall punch. asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? Why are you in the no, pods? Don't put yourself at risk. Yeah, what's she doing I'm over there? Now. Huh. Do you know your boss is bulletproof? Did you? Have a nice evening, sir. Yeah, I don't even know why they hired me, honestly. I don't tip. Secure. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Since I have three things, I can get, I can use uh, the doubles now. Oh yeah. I'm actually curious where the DJ is. Is this the? This has to be the DJ room. Yeah, it's a little five. I want to go. I want to go DJ. Oh, we can't do this. That guy's gonna wake up and be like, why did that man punch me? <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. What did I do to him? Why was he so mad? <laughs> this guy. There's some it's irony. Splicer. Yeah. No, these are, these are the harvesters. Yeah, they look like the splicers from Bioshock. Huh. Which I guess is almost kind of the same thing in a way. Oh, yeah, I guess. This is like genetic engineering versus like mechanical engineering, but yeah. yeah. It's kind of, yeah, there are some parallels between the games. So we got a couple things to do. Let's uh, take a look at our list of stuff. Oh, yeah, we still got to return the May because we dumped that guy off the side of the building. So we, let's go finish that. Oh, yeah, that was right. funny. Um, we have to disable communication. In the Yuzhou district, but that's the opposite way of where we're going, so we'll do that later. Let's uh, let's go talk to May, Ming May, real quick. <laughs> go back and pick it up and drink it right now. <laughs> no, we'll see if he drinks it. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna drink it. <laughs> He's a polite homeless man. <laughs> He's like, sir, you dropped this wine. <laughs> he may be polite, but he's also very thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, you're up here. You should install a fucking escalator. Yeah, I know. I'm American you mean elevator. No, I meant escalator. <laughs> <laughs> you five stories on an escalator. That would take yeah. a while. Hey. Has Chen been taken care of? Nope. I dropped him off a building. He's dead. They'll think it's a suicide. Just leave it at that. I'm glad to hear that. Death is not something I wish to treat lightly. But his I do. death <laughs> does bring me relief. Thank you. Death is not something I, I wish to treat you lightly. You saved us, Mr. But Jones. I will anyway. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. How about 10% of I profits on this I you will be satisfied <laughs> with it. How about tits in my face right now? You have saved not just me, Mr. Jensen, but all. You're saying that half-heartedly as you look at your stock options. Page. Yeah, I know. Quit reading yeah. while you're talking. Okay, to me, so lady. that's taken care of. Let's go to Hengshai Garden Pods. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it all the way down. We <laughs> <laughs> didn't need to. We didn't need to do it that time. Hmm. So the Garden Pods. This. <laughs> Fuck you. He's trying to help him. Just yeah. won't. Doesn't even. Doesn't even care. <laughs> Just trying to bring the ashtray to you. Yeah, make it easier. It's good. Uh, a lot of people just standing on the corner smoking in this city. I mean, what else is there to do in the wretched hive of scum and villainy? That in is? in this gigantic city, like fucking megalopolis. I haven't like, been down there though, but that looks like it's all gross. So we're not gonna go down there. I'm gonna uh, go in the Alice Garden Pods though. Hmm. 
<laughs> what was that guy doing? I don't know. Yep. Oh, you mean the story of everywhere? Put your butts away. Look at his feet. Yeah, he had some like duck toe stuff going yeah. on. Jensen, I, I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all <laughs> didn't yours. Didn't do anything. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? Why are you not it's in the airplane? <laughs> I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Hmm. So we can, uh, say that the boss doesn't want you getting in trouble. We can tease her. Or, uh, we can be concerned. Or we can use pheromones. Uh, let's tease her first. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Makes them more interesting that way. It's kind of sexual harassment. Pilot in that's my not, a, that's not here, teasing someone. I prefer a more open relationship. Good point. Glad you agree. But you still haven't answered the question. Fine, since you're so damn curious. <laughs> Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. Did you forget how she, to talk? She's dead. Well, she's I'm trying sorry, to evoke Malik. sadness. Wait, Jensen, but, uh, let me finish. It's not working out. I thought it was okay it's with not. it, but I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed, murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected <laughs> something. They would have yeah, investigated. Totally. <laughs> That's right? just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Where'd you get blood that? Spatter. Which I carry on me all the time. <laughs> yes, a friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Oh, okay, that makes Listen, more sense. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... So Why do I suspect I'm about to get TV dragged Thursday into something? Night, called Look, Malik's Jensen, I'm Cold sorry. I know Van Bruggen <laughs> is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... You the can't. more I think just, about it, the more I realize it's not my business and I can't head. take care of it. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Hmm. So she's uh, offering... If it makes you feel better, I was a bad cop. Yeah. So, um, let's ask. This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it. What were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, so I'm you a haven't pilot, thought any of this out. But I just... No. I felt I had to do something well, while I had a chance. probably gonna go to In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> Maybe once you get the <laughs> report and we know check? what it says, we can... Uh, no. Improvise. I can tell you 100% <laughs> that they do not. Let's ask about the boyfriend. Though maybe in future... Maybe in maybe the future, In-N-Out is like the biggest burger chain. It takes all Why well, do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend <laughs> had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned. Right from the start. Born into money and Literally. influence, but never he's once assuming responsibility for anything. Arsenic everywhere. I don't think he's working <laughs> on his day in his life. <laughs> so he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. Listen, I have a bunch of circumstantial outbursts, evidence and predispositions he on his character. He killed a kid over some stupid <laughs> gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... Yeah, she got a lot of money. <laughs> always tried to see the good in people. Give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just innocent. Dumb. So naive and stupid. Yeah. Um, who gave you the police report? You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to so contact someone at Lim the autopsy report he's convinced here. was intentionally yeah, buried. Yeah. Why would Lim have but anything to do with Evelyn's Chinese. autopsy report? No. But if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been it's outsourcing odd. branches of its public oh, services for years. I mean, it's not years. odd for someone Bell Tower to places the streets, and Shanghai, nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic it's surgery. It's odd that she lived They're there often and contracted somehow for became a pilot for like an Evelyn's. American company. And what made Evelyn's case so special, she has a perfect American accent. Her boyfriend, Lee. Yeah, that too. He was at the scene. That's also He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Oh, they might. Hmm. 
Tell me about Evelyn. How dumb she was, was beautiful, she? carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship <laughs> Can you give her for my a private transportation. Oh, <laughs> she was a great pilot too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Two better talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. She was a little. And it always had to do with some boy. <laughs> she knew I didn't like him. Her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I like Lee as well. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Okay, so let's help out our pilot friend. Yeah. Okay, I'll help. If we owe, if we owe help, help to Marley, anyone, he I guess yeah. Our, He's assistant considering that everyone else we help deserves it, not at all. <laughs> yeah. He's willing to hand over a copy yeah. of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. Is it iron and copper? To which he'll reply, That's a stupid riches phrase. and honors depend upon heaven. That's Christ, a Malik, this is phrase. starting to sound like something out of a bad spy <laughs> movie. I know. A a He's bit. just trying yeah. to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Limb Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. That's original. I know, I know. Anonymous. X. <laughs> okay. That's stupid, Anything but else? okay. <laughs> yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here hmm. in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any Wait, updates. Where you need to go? You're going to go back to the airplane like <laughs> eating Fritos or something. Really sit in the pilot seat. <laughs> she walked into a wall. <laughs> yeah, she did. Hold on. We were... We were talking. Yeah, she we walked, were talking like right here. She walked directly through that wall. It's fucking magical. Well, uh, we're gonna end it here. I guess we're gonna do some CSI next episode. So, if Most you, people in this whole world if you, um, in the lower part of if you had the, that mission, you had to tell that guy the secret code word. Um, what would what would your secret code word be for your mission? Hmm. Assuming it's not iron and copper. Uh. I think mine. He's the baddest. That one's good. Mine would sure be. Enough. <laughs> mine would be. You have to lean in, super close. You have to get like an inch from their face and go. Taste the rainbow. <laughs>